everybody welcome back to my channel and thanks for checking out this video i am going to jump right in i'm going to be sharing an update review on the kenzie so pretty line the three-piece suitcase uh set that i i did a review on this about a year and a half ago before i used any of the suitcases and i've been meaning to actually do this for a while because there's a few things that i thought would be worth sharing um, just in how the suitcases are holding up but after a recent travel um, wear and tear I thought I really need to make this video and get it out there that way if anyone watched my previous video you know exactly what you're getting yourself into I'm gonna start with the carry-on bag it was pretty good and most of the time it's not going through um, checked baggage but there's still some things about it that I was kind of surprised to see and this might be partially to overstuffing the bag but i do want to share so if you open up the suitcase on the inside the divider between the two sides of the shell and it's completely torn open so i tried to stitch it up and this material is just too thin it frays really really easily so it's not really repairable. You can even see that where the stitching has gone in, there's little holes. So where it's starting to pull, but it hasn't actually torn. This lining material is just not the highest of quality, which is a shame. There's also just some uh, common wear and tear to the, the outside of the case, which is expected. You know, I think had I gotten one of those clear, um, suitcase covers that would have prevented a lot of this but it's just a little bit of the chippage and then underneath it's like a just a white plasticky shell which is a bummer because they're so pretty when they're new and fresh but that was the carry-on so i said before i didn't i've only checked this one a few times in the uh at the airport and a lot of the times it is my carry-on bag Sometimes I have to gate check it um, when I'm flying on the smaller airplanes, so maybe that's where some of the wear and tear came from. The wheels are still great, so the wheels are awesome, and yeah, it, 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 I mean, it's still a functioning bag. Okay, going on to the medium size one. So this medium size one actually held up the best, oddly enough, other than the external scratches, which you can kind of see are just typical but it just looks flaky which is which is so sad i was hoping it would have lasted longer in in keeping its rose gold sheen i guess but i mean from a distance it's fine there were no issues on the inside with this one's lining luckily so that one held up okay and this one's wheels are all right i say that now and oh wait oh the wheels aren't okay <gasps> okay wait a second oh gosh okay so the wheel so there's a snag here in the rubber so that's catching <laughs> okay well the wheels aren't 100 percent on this one anymore so moving on big mom over here this case is great in the sense that it really can hold everything when you expand it so long as you have extra baggage allowance um it holds a lot of stuff which is great until you try to overstuff it. Underneath the plastic lining, the seam totally came up and I had to hot glue it because there was no way to sew it up myself. It did get the typical scuff, but this one actually, I shipped this bag internationally um, and it held up really well aesthetically. So that's a perk. Also with my large one, I've had this for a while. There's a big dent right here. So that makes me wonder, you know, this isn't as this isn't as sturdy. If it can just dent like that, that's just crazy. But this is this is really what prompted me to make this video. Is I picked my bag up from my most recent trip to find this. This is just so unfortunate. Here, it's completely cracked and i mean you can see and then you can also see the quality of the material so really there was the shiny coat and then it was pink ish underneath but then that's it it's really like it's really kind of thin so that was such a bummer i, I didn't even realize 
what was going on until I caught that my wheel was kind of like catching on something and I was like, oh, it's catching on itself. So that was a major bummer because I feel like now, I mean, maybe I can get some duct tape to fix it up, but it's as, this might be the swan song trip for my, uh, my Kenzie So Pretty cases. I do travel a lot and these suitcases have seen a lot. I travel not only for my, myself, but for work as well. So these cases have really gotten me to and from everywhere I need to go and have held up remarkably well, all things considered. But I am curious to know from other travelers if this is the standard wear and tear or if these cases are just not as high of a quality as I had hoped. Comment down below on what you think in regards to how these babies have held up. Thanks for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed an honest review of the Kenzie So Pretty bags. But be on the lookout for a new bag review soon once I get uh, some new luggage because I think, I think this is it. I'm gonna retire these guys. Thanks for watching everybody.